G'day and welcome back to our Congolese Murray Nostrum campaign where we are now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Totally democratic, re-electing the same president until he dies, basically. 452 is definitely going to be better than a 411. <clears throat> Would like to get this efficiency increase. It'll take a while. Gain pop. Yep. Good, good. Self-sustaining, good. Okay, we will hmm, go take care of that one next. Send them down. We have another colonist available. Why is that? This guy finished and for some reason I didn't notice. No, he's still there. Just because he hadn't actually been sent yet? Don't know. Alright, so we're trying to get the achievement where <clears throat> all three of these get to 100. I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll see. Otherwise, we can slow the hemorrhaging a little. Alright, renewing loans. How much interest are we paying at the moment? 20 ducats a month. Hmm. Alright, we are rather restless. Unrestless. <clears throat> Mali is hammering Portugal. They're gonna get a bunch of oh, yeah, we go quickly, he died. Um what do we want to push? Push military for it. Maybe we push admin mode. Where it seems to be the way to go. President is thirty-nine. <clears throat> Alright, President Ngueso. We freed up the guy from Mali so we could actually see what this is going to take. It's going to take a lot more than we can do. Hmm. Well, get there eventually, maybe. Worked before, should work again. This could end in this month, or well, not this month, this year. Let's just give it a hundred percent chance. Gain a little corruption. Not going to make a huge difference to us, really. Sent the guy there. Did he get kicked out of here at some point? No. Didn't we just send him down here? No. Okay, weird. Don't care if we lose this colony then. Which we obviously will. Alright, they're going to start having a chance of being discovered soon. Now, what's our sufferance? He's actually removed that and it's just gone to zero. Hmm. Okay. So we lost that colony. Let's chuck them down here where I'm pretty sure I clicked last time. Alright, 2.5% chance being discovered. It takes so many months to get it up. There's so little chance of getting all three to a hundred. Don't know how you're supposed to do that achievement. Okay, we can get our extra colonist now. So let's go send him on up here. And just stick these guys in these provinces. And take tech, which would be admin. Should make this a little cheaper. Oops. Yep, down to 19 from 25. Length of war will go away. Okay. Let's get off that province long enough for it to get its dudes back. You know, 16, 4, 13. As balanced as they're going to get. 
would love to go to war with Mali at some point in the near future. Just build the spy network until we get another claim on them. States demand control. Right, the burgers demand control now because we're a republic. Well, we could give them stuff. All right, we're gonna have territorial core problems everywhere, aren't we? Should have turned a lot more stuff into state. Burgers are already gonna own most of the stuff too. Clergy, clergy, clergy. Burgers. You have to give them so much crap. We don't have anything down here worth giving them. Yep. All the wrong type of province. So let's just give everything we can to the burgers in this area, I think. That's not a territory. It's clearly a full core. It says so right there. Hmm. How far off are we? 3%. Well, I could give them the coast. There's a little autonomy here. Has a seat in Parliament. Uh, burgers. Those slaves aren't worth much. Burgers, burgers, burgers. That's worth a lot. It's already autonomy here though, so let's just hand it over. Okay. Still not sure how I feel about the whole estate system. Having to give land up for freaking autonomy. Three colonies coming out though is nice. Let's see if we can make some money. How much should we spend rooting up corruption? 40 ducats a month. And it would take at least 50 years to get rid of it. That'd be quite a few ducats we'd have to spend. Okay, get rid of all that. Not ready to go in Mali yet. So we've got a two and a half or two percent chance to be discovered everywhere. Hmm. A new religion spreads. So in England this causes unrest everywhere. All owned provinces get football, is just what it says now. Okay. Local unrest plus one everywhere. Or we just lose a theologian. Seems obvious. Recruit this Inquisitor instead. Almost done in Bauchi. He'll head over there. Trusted Mali is over. Let's fabricate another claim. For this one. Jenna. All right, gain Republican tradition, lose corruption. It's actually added corruption to that now. Um, sure. That's stability cost modifier when you're a republic. It's usually the reason you give up on being a republic. I guess if you're Catholic from the start, you can just buddy up with the Pope and try and use that for getting up to three stability because then you never lose it when your king dies because you don't have one. Alright, the Coptics. Still makes more sense, yep. And we've been discovered in Britannica, so yeah, no chance of that happening. And discovered in Spain as well. back. If we sue for peace, still at minus 15. Don't get why. Revolts in Netherlands should be helping us out. Relative strength of alliances. A long time till we can piece any of them out. Oh. 
looking good. Got a big font. What more can you hope for? Senku. We are doing this. Once this one's done, we'll go over to Senku. In the meantime, Mali. Just keep doing whatever. Casualties, yeah, a little. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, inflation problems. Still pretty far behind tech. How far behind France are we now? Twenty-eight across the board compared to our twenty-three, twenty-one, twenty-six. Yeah. Statesman's dead. Yeah, that's what we need. That put us up to. It's the risk of discovery that's a problem, not the speed so much. 1.23 every month. Jeez. Alright, tech cost. Yeah. Big Pope in this one, too. Okay. We are going to take one more crack at these guys. So we're still in Orissa. For Janaga, can't do it until 76, another four years. <laughs> French unrest in Asosa. So you know what, we'll pull this guy back before he gets discovered. And then we'll still have a couple of points head start when we send the other guys back as well. Alright, it was yeah, February 76. And this guy is only 31, so he should be able to survive that long. And Mali, where we do a couple more. What are we getting with them? 1.6 every month. Distance multiplier is ridiculous. Okay. Lose prestige, sure. Gain 100 pop in Limpopo. Alright, about 6,000 ducats we need to repay. Netherlands would cede two to us, we'll decline that. We want the third, so that again, we don't have to go to war with them. Actually, give us all three now. And a few ducats. How many ducats could we hope for? Only what we already have. Unless we could white piece somebody else, which I don't see happening at all. Okay, we'll take those three, we'll take what money we can, send that. No real problem up there. Spend a little recoring them. Still showing as not a core. Well, that didn't show properly, did it? No, just the overextension is zero, but it wasn't instant. Fair enough. All right, getting that. Portugal seed a bunch of stuff to Mali, giving their cores back. It is not all of the cores that they took from them. Though. We're attacking Yola, Yola, Lega. Fine. We've got these two armies, and I assume he's going to come over this way somewhere. Go near him. Need to keep fabricating claims on whatever. Mali has gone up to 200%. So we could eat all of that in two wars. Tumbuk has changed to reform, seriously? I don't want any reformed land down here. What are they thinking? 
Yeah, we need to do Imarina eventually. Alright, how much of Mali do we have claims on? Does not look like half yet. Are we going to keep this guy forever? Next election, so it's every four years. He is only 43, so Nguesso is going to become our dictator eventually. And Popo is looking good. Invest in mercenary contracts? I think not. And what are we waiting for? 76, wasn't it? Yes. Alright, February 76. We need to send everybody back. People of Runt have been granted a seat. We need to fabricate a claim over there. And we may as well be improving with the Pope while we're not using the Diplomat for anything else. Alright, when Popo is about to finish. Hmm. More seats get handed out. More slaves. Gain to unrest, lose, Republican tradition. Don't care about two prestige when we're that negative anyway. Portugal declared on Tunis, that reminds us. We could go to war with Tunis. Tunis are allied with nobody. So probably should go and do that now. Yeah, let's uh, build up Spino Egg, at least get a CB against them. Since we don't even have advanced CBs yet, which everyone else had decades ago. I'd like to do Mali first though. Well, we can only do one fabrication on Tunis, so that would make more sense to be our next war. And we can just keep these going until we have them all. There's a few left to take. Clergy demand more land. Okay. Um, is that going for prestige? Clergy can take this or not. Uh, where was the reformed? There. Nope. <clears throat> okay. So, as a republic, you have to give up 35% of your land. I got Limpopo. These guys will head down here. And we'll try and push this down a little further. And we're looking on separatism. Just the Dutch in those three provinces. That'll be fine. It was Mali that turned us around and made us give that back to them in the first place. <clears throat> if Mali hadn't been way early to westernise. We would have done a lot better in this game, I think. <clears throat> Alright, we're almost ready to go to war with Tunis. Let's pay our armies again. Tunis lost Portugal already. <clears throat> Offer an alliance? No. Have we had a claim... Why did we... I'm sure I sent the guy there. No, obviously not. Alliance offer from Portugal we'll accept. And... What's it doing? Mali. Fabricate a few more claims. Still a lot to go. Alright, Tunis. Fabricate the claim. Fazan. It's like our guy got kicked out when... Uh, Portugal won the war. Alright, there's no one left to go to there. Spain declared on Bouton. Alright, we declare on Berne. 
There is a lot of Portuguese up there. Right. Mothballed fort and a capital fort. If we get the mothballed fort, that would be fun. But he's already turned it on. It would have taken us longer than a month to get there anyway. Yeah, couldn't have done it. So East Sahara is already ours. If we take these bits of Tunis, might be enough to colour Central Sahara ours as well. Alright, not many men there. So we'll breach the walls and then assault. Right, another colony out of the way. Send them around. It's kind of a long way for them to go. Okay. Uh, the fleet we don't need to pay. And the forts can be mothballed. Probably delete them all together. I'm actually surprised we never got invaded directly by the Portuguese or the Spanish or the French. It'd be nice if we had got down here a little sooner to stop them doing this and the islands and everything. Hmm. Alright, we have one Sirut. We don't need to worry about doing anything with them. Alright, go take these over. And then we'll just slaughter them. Tunis already won out. Too bad, boys. There we go. Alright, we are fine here. We have some points as well. Analyst research is up to 0.3. Is that every tech level? Five under. Yeah, so every tech level you are under is an extra 0.1. It's a little painful. It's a little weak to go to war with Jared. Um, hmm. A few things we're going to want to do quickly. Alright, let's quickly build a spy network over here so we can just fabricate that one claim. Convert Wolo to Mali. Almost run out of things to do there. Alright, 1st of July. Fabricate a claim on your Tenga is okay. We will sue for piece of Tunis and take all their land. Which is actually probably a bad idea. We'd rather vassalize them because of the whatever it is, Tunisian something something. Berber traditions. He has a few cores we might be able to take from Portugal. So yeah, we'll vassalize him. Ah, damn it. We need to get up here, though. Because he has no claims or anything on Jared. And we definitely want to destroy them. Okay. Just remember that in time. So we take those two provinces. We vassalize the rest of him. We steal his cash. And that'll be that. these guys up. <clears throat> Let's pull these guys together just so we can group them a little bit faster. Alliance offer with the Papal State. That sounds like fun. Just accept alliances with all these Europeans. We've basically come up to the Mediterranean, so that's I guess one mini goal that we had for a while. We need to head down here to surround them. Make a core of those two. And you know, buy them off. Might as well. Alright, high liberty desire in Tunis. We can improve relations with them a little bit. 
Not a great deal. <clears throat> Alright, it is February 76, so we need three diplomats free. It'll be these three. Because, what is it? A couple of months. Hmm. So in Vijayanaga, we should still have some... No. Arista it was. So we've still got some left with them. <clears throat> Alright, we will actually pull back these three and leave him and Jared for a bit longer. We will keep these guys up in Jared, though. With the leader. Alright, 1st January, perfect. Mali, fabricate another claim and stop him and pull back from the Pope and from Tunis. Hopefully he's under 50 now, good. So you get a bit of a fleet up in the Mediterranean from him. Alright, that also gives us the fabricate claim. Stop building the spy network. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll send back to Orissa. Vijanagar. And Spain. 1st of February. How's that for timing? Let's come back a day early. Alright, build the spy network there. And we then have the guy ready to go to war with Jared. Who probably have better traditions of their own. They do. But he can't be worth too much development, can he? He's been sitting there developing it. Free traders we must be... No. Okay, mercantilism. 15.2 ticks up to... Well, actually 0.3 from 3 mercantilism isn't a great deal. Alright, Jared. We declare that you suck and we rule. Alright, that is a pretty decent fort. Another colony done. Send them over here. Over there. Alright, get in there. Another free guy, because he must have got there late. Alright, keep getting rid of the Coptics. Yeah, it's looking alright. Sunni Mali land. I bet he's going to be converting these too. Cessation of church functions. Gain a ton of money. Tax goes down for 20 years. Get extra papal influence or gain stability that we don't need. Alright, let's so forget the tax for a bit. Clergy are disloyal. That will be gone next month. 39.99%. There we go. Our tax modifier back. We have to give more land to the burghers, however. Um, anything should do. Take that. It's not much extra uh, autonomy from that. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon, where we basically try to finish off the last of the non Europeans in Africa. So, see you later.